Today what we're going to look at is, you know, when you're writing and you're typing in Spanish, well, when you're writing, it's pretty easy, right? If you need an upside-down question mark, you just put an upside-down question mark or an exclamation point or a vowel with an accent or an enye, you've got it. But when you are typing in Spanish, that can be a little bit tricky. Now, one of the ways that some people do it is uh, when they're in a PC, right? So we're in a PC world right now. You, you need an O with an accent. Well, maybe you type in like Alt 0679. That's not really it, but I don't really know because I think that's a r not really a good way to go because it's pretty cumbersome. So what I want to show you a way is to change your keyboard. Right, so right now your keyboard is on an, more than likely, on an English keyboard. And what we're going to do is just flip a little switch, and we will get to a Spanish keyboard. And if we have that, you can go back and forth, and this is going to make your life a lot easier. Okay, well, what do I mean by the keyboard? Well, let's look. So here's the uh, classic English United States keyboard, and we've got everything where we need it to be, so we could write something like, I don't know, where are you from and then we need our question mark and so we would put it right there that's going to disappear so let me change the color on that real quick okay but what i want to do is i want to change this keyboard to spanish now most of you are working on a windows on a windows machine and so you are going to have to do a one-time install and once you do this install, it's really, really easy. All right, here's what you need to do. Go to Start. And then you're going to come over here to Control Panel. Once you're in Control Panel, you want to find something called Region and Language Setting. Once you're in Region and Language Setting, come over to Keyboards and Languages click change keyboards. Well, and you can see right now that English is the keyboard that I have on this machine. And so I want to add another keyboard. Now there are lots of choices in here, but what I would recommend for you is the Spain Spanish International Sort. There are lots of them. So you'll open up Spain, you'll open up keyboard, and I need you to click this right here. So we're installing the Spanish keyboard. You're going to hit OK. And you should, should see the two, English and then Spanish. And make sure that keyboard says Spanish. The next part is I need you to come up here to the language bar. And we want to select docked on taskbar and show text labels. Hit OK, hit OK, and go ahead and close this. That is a one-time install. Now, every time you log on to this machine, you're going to be perfect. And if you come down here and look, you now have this little blue square that says English. So if you want to switch to Spanish, click on your Spanish keyboard. So now, if I go to type, so let's come back here. Let's bring up my keyboard again. I now have a Spanish keyboard. And you're going to notice that things are just a little bit different. And so right here, I have my Enye. And if I wanted a capital Enye, I have that right there. All right, if I want to put on an accent, the way to put on an accent is you are going to push the accent button once, that's right to the right of the Enye. And you'll notice nothing happened and then go to your vowel. Okay, let's put an accent on an A. You're gonna go right to the right of the Enye. You will push once and then touch your vowel. Push once, touch your vowel. What else do you need to know? Well, over here you have seven, eight, nine, zero, and then two over, that's where you're gonna get your upside down exclamation point. And if you hold down shift, the normal exclamation point is above the one. 
shift one shift one all right question marks well to get your question marks you're going to hit shift and there's your upside down question mark shift normal question mark so again this was the Spain international sort all right so this is what you need to do to be able to type in Spanish and you know the nice part about changing your keyboard like this is if you change this over and start typing inside of Microsoft Word and you switch your keyboard over it will automatically spell check for you I'm done using it so I'm going to come back down here to the ES and go back to the English keyboard next time you log on it's right there so can you use this alt 0679 to get all of these things yeah but I really think changing your keyboard is a much much easier way to go and you can use this in any program okay let me know if you have questions go out and start typing swear thing